Luis has a good question. And I'm going to throw you guys off just a little bit. He says that I have a question and I don't and don't get offended. I do believe in God, but not the not in thirds. So he's saying he doesn't believe in the Trinity. Good. Uh, don't the universe have two eyes instead of one? Just like we all have been created in the image. We're all trying trying here to be the best we can and we are not perfect. To be perfect, you have to be the creator. All right, here's the thing. This is where I'm going to start throwing you guys on the curve. He makes a good statement. Wouldn't the universe have two eyes instead of one? Speaking of the third eye. We actually technically, in that idea, we have three eyes. So the creator would then have three eyes. The universe would have three eyes. It would have two physical eyes and a spiritual eye. So it would have the one spiritual eyes. Why people would say the universe would have one. But we're made in the physical image of the creator is what people want to believe so then we have two eyes so then so the, in that regard then the creator would have two eyes we're all trying to be the best that we can be we're not perfect to be perfect you'd have to be the creator but we all are wonderfully made and to a certain extent perfection we are perfection in our faults because we have chosen to dwell on this third dimensional plane where there can be imperfections, what we would call imperfections, we're actually perfect in that imperfection as we are discovering a new reality of existence in this physical form. But I want you to think about something when we just, when he talked about the, the creator having two eyes, the universe having two eyes instead of one. What happens when we meet an intelligent being that has five eyes, an intelligent being that has one eye, an intelligent being that has no eyes, but sees things differently, then what would that make the creator? If the creator is the creator of everything in the universe and out of the billions of galaxies, there are billions upon billions of stars, and then if you only took 10% or 1% of those, you would have still billions of planets that are able to support life in the way that we understand life. Because there could be life out there that exists in a nitrogen environment, that it exists in a hydrogen environment, or other elemental things that we don't even know yet. Could be a plasma existing being that is in a physical form. So would that make the creator a plasma being? You see, here's the truth. All of this stuff about us being created in the image of, of, of the creator is all based on physical experience. Physical attributes is wrong, is incorrect. To be created in the image of the creator actually would necessitate us being created energetically in the way of the creator and that energy can manifest in the physical form in mo a multitude of different ways so we have to be able to go beyond this third dimensional plane of matter in our thinking when we truly try to understand who we are and truly look to understand the creator the creation the the Kabbalion says it best in my opinion that the creator is infinite mind, infinite thought. Thought can manifest itself in a multitude of physical forms. So the pureness of who we are, it is with no eyes. This is why we talk about the third eye, so you see with your physical eye, but that is still only a physical representation of mental energy all things in the universe no matter what plane of existence we're talking about exist as energy that has chosen to manifest itself in a multitude of forms therefore the creator the creator is infinite thought infinite thought energy infinite frequency infinite vibrations that manifest based on its desire or determination or decision of what physical form it wants to take. So in that regard, we cannot lock 
the creator in the small box. But open your mind to see the universe as energy in, in, in an infinite form and infinite abilities. I hope this answers your question. I hope it opens your mind to think deeper. But I look forward to hearing your response. Yeah.